Hello everybody, this is Gold Husky and today she's playing Blind Date 2 Return of the guy who lied because he could actually see Um, I guess this is some sort of dating sim and I have never played a dating sim before so I'm not entirely sure what they actually entail so this will be fun and I'm just not going to compare it to a dating sim because I get the impression that it's not actually a dating sim and then I'll be comparing it to something completely wrong so I'm not going to use this as an impression of a dating sim but it probably is and I'm completely wrong but okay the description is ask your mystery men five questions and choose the guy who answers you like best each guy will respond according to his lifestyle um, right play and it's all shiny Welcome to the blind date. Ask a mystery man five questions and choose the guy whose answers you like best. That's essentially the introduction, but okay. That's a very photorealistic chair we have there. This next is all hearty. Please select the first question you want to ask. Remember, you can only ask five questions, so choose carefully. Oh my god, I can barely read that handwriting. Alright, what's say? What would you like to do on our first date? <laughs> do you have any interesting hobbies or hidden talents? Maybe you know what I'm good at. Answer this question. I would do anything for you except... Uh... <laughs> well, I'd only answer that if the answer was no. What is your dream job? The one that pays well and then I can support a family made by you, baby. Three things you can't live without. You, baby. If you were stuck on a desert island, whom would you like to be stranded with? I'm not sure that's the correct use of whom, but, you know, extra points for remembering that that's a word that exists. And I really hope the answer there was like, you, baby. If you had only 24 hours to live, what would you do? You, baby. What's your favorite pickup line? You, baby. If you had one wish, what would it be? To do you, baby. Right. Now, which questions will I ask? I would like to ask this. Answer this question. I would do anything for you except... Ooh. There's Shoulder Paddy Man. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, it's like a cutscene. God, look at the high definition on that date. I would do anything for you except to get a desk job. Wow! Wow! Fine then! If you don't want to support my little family, then I don't know what else. Next one. There is nothing I wouldn't do you. My precious. Um, no, because that's Gollum, clearly. I would do you anything except get a tattoo of your name. That's one mistake I'll never make again. Okay, fair enough. I wouldn't ask you to do that. But, you know, you did kind of imply that you didn't want it to be anything permanent around him, so, you know. If you had one wish, what would it be? Uh, sure, why not? My wish is to climb Mount Ap Annapura. It is one of the most dangerous mountains in the world for climbers. Well, you know, it ain't no Mount Everest, so, you know, you're a bit underambitious there. To be with you forever and ever. Aww, that's so cute of the duty! Oh, I would want to world peace and end to hunger and ha ha ha. The only thing I want is mountains of cold hard cash. Mate, I just lost a lot of respect for you. See, quite frankly, he's just blown it there. I mean, I was thinking at first, oh, that's just kind of nice, and then, oh. I mean, actually, that's quite a good question, because, you know, world peace, but then money. Like, maybe if I was to somehow become president and the one capable of producing world peace, then, you know, what would you like to do on a first date? What is your dream job? I'm curious what that first guy's dream job. Okay. What's your dream job? Uh, uh long, long cutscene. My dream job is to be a travel guide. Okay. But I'm not going to comment on that because, you know, it's a perfectly legit dream, I suppose. Making you the happiest girl on the planet. Aww. You're getting extra points, mister, in the middle. My dream job is to own a bike chop shop okay what well, now let yeah I'm curious of what they're gonna say about this 
Because, you know, they want to win me over, but do they really want to win me over? That's the main question. I mean, clearly they do, because I look like some kind of fashion model, but... I'm looking for somebody who wants to travel and try new, exciting things. Yeah. Okay. Um. Sorry, mate, but I'm just not that into ya. I think I've already found my dream girl and she's talking to me right now. Ooh, you, maybe. I'm going for you. Ooh, oh. She should be wild and adventurous with an amazing body. And some tattoos wouldn't hurt. Actually, they do hurt quite a bit. I think I've sort of made up my mind by my point. One final question to seal the deal. Is he really the one for me? Hmm. Three things you can't live without. Well, the middle guy's gonna say me. If the, if the middle guy says me, then I am so dating him. My backpack, my passport, and my first true adventure. Okay. My binoculars, my ski mask, and you! Oh, <laughs> Still, binoculars is a ski mask, what the heck? Beer, my bike, and a pretty woman like yourself. You heard what I was saying, and you said, he thought, hey, maybe if I see her, I'll get some extra points, but no. Okay? Mate. No. Roll over the guys to reveal all their answers. Oh, this is where you to overview it. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, my precious. Yeah, he, he seems really nice. His first question seems a bit funny, but he's basically saying he'll do anything for me. And he wants to be with me, and he wants to make me happy, and he thinks he's, I'm his dream girl, and he's equating me to his binoculars and his ski mask, so I must be pretty darn important. Click to choose your date. And... Boom. Let's see what he looks like. Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. a creepy stalker who knows a little too much about you. And he looks really... <laughs> um, do you think he's the one? <laughs> well, you know, uh, uh, what is that stain there? There's a stain there and his trench coat looks a bit. And his hair is just... Well, I know I'm like super famous supermodel and, you know, I've probably got people like this out there and... Oh god, they really put me on the spot. Well, let's think. I should have known by the Gollum impression. I mean, I may as well give him a chance. I mean, if I didn't recognize him at all, then he's probably not been stuck with me that much. So, yeah, let's... Shit. Smitten! Love at last. Right. And they lived happily ever after.